All right, go for it. Hello, welcome to Tile Coach. I'm Isaac Ostrom. I'm a licensed tile contractor in Northern California. Thank you for watching another video. Today I have some bonding flange drains and I want to compare these three popular drains. Actually, these two are popular. This is the most popular. Um, Hydroban has theirs, Latigree Hydroban. This is a new drain uh, called uh, Flow FX, which I'm really excited to try out. The, the features that I've seen uh, so far are really cool and I can't wait to show them with you. So today's video is going to be about doing a comparison, the pros and cons of these three different bonding flange drains. Okay, so I'm saying bonding flange drains. So these drains are typically used with a sheet membrane system similar to Schluter Curdy. So they have a, a bonding flange that you adhere this membrane to with inset mortar or you could also use a liquid applied in the case of Hydroban, you could use their liquid membrane to apply to their bonding flange, and I believe you could do the same thing with the flow effects. Uh, Schluter Curdy, they do not currently at this time have a liquid applied membrane, so you, don't, you would only be using sheet membrane. So this is different than a traditional uh, three-piece drain, three-stage drain that you would see used with a shower pan liner, a 40 mil pan liner, or a hot mop or a copper or lead pan if you go way back in the day. But this is, this is uh, you know, your Home Depot special kind of deal here. Um, they, they still work good, but the way these work is, is they're three pieces. So we got, we got the one piece, which is the drain. That screws into this, this collar. This collar locks down. So the way it would work is you got your 40 mil pan liner coming in here. Uh, you put this clamping ring on here to clamp down this second part of the drain to on top of the pan liner and then finally this would be your final stage and you do do another float. Uh, one of the reasons why these are becoming less popular is that you need to do two floats basically, right? You got to do a pre-slope layer, then put your pan liner down, then do another slope of deck mud or dry pack mortar and that goes up to your final height with tile. Uh, the other thing is, is uh, with these systems, you have a whole mortar bed that gets saturated, and so it's a water in, water out system. Water gets under the tile, goes down to the pan liner, and drains into these weep holes here and down into the sewer. Sometimes these weep holes get clogged. I got a lot of videos on those. I'll be sure to put those down in the description. And while I got you here, leave a comment in the section below if you like using these traditional style uh, 40 mil pan liners or if you've moved to Schluter Curdy or one of the others. Let us know what you think is the best way to do it. I'm curious to hear and if you have another method shoot let me know. But these are the two basic methods that I know. Um, so that's what these drains are made for. They're made for going with Schluter Curdy. These are not for a 40 mil pan liner that you're going to pick up at Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, most of these are going to be carried at your well yeah, well most of these are going to be carried at your tile shops. You can also find them online. Um, these are starting to be put into some of the big box stores. Lowe's, I think, carries Curdy now. Um, I don't believe Home Depot does yet. They probably will. Floor and Decor is another big box store where you can pick up Schluter Curdy. And now Laticrete is in Floor and Decor as well. So um, anyways, you can find these drains. Okay, so let's start. So let's start with the most popular. Now this is the drain that we started using back in 2010. Um, everybody's been using it, um, well, not everybody, a lot of people have been using it for a long time. Really popular, their bonding flange drain. Uh, this is Schluter Curtis. Uh, we're gonna put that there. I'll go into it a little bit later. Uh, what comes in their Schluter bonding flange, you also get some outside, outside and inside corners. You get four inside and two outside corners. So that's a little bit of a bonus there. Um, those come with the corners. It comes with instructions. It comes with these templates for a cutout of the subfloor. And, um, oh, look at this. It says, please support by merch at tilecoach.com. Oh, look at that. <laughs> anyway, that's my cheesy little plug. Uh, yeah, keep in mind, I'm not paid by any of these uh, manufacturers, so this is a total unbiased review. Uh, the way that happens is you guys have been supporting me by buying merchandise at tilecoach.com. Like this t-shirt, like this hat, 
Thank you very much. Okay, get that out of the way. So we got, uh, these are spacers. Uh, so these spacers come, uh, and these are to get the correct spacing if you want to set your drain body into the subfloor. That way, uh, when the plumber pushes this down and these spacers hit the subfloor, uh, the preformed the pre foam pan liner will slip in underneath at the right height. So that's all those are for. Uh, it also comes with uh, pipe seals. Uh, the pipe seal's good. Um, this guy, the valve seal, really only works on a few different uh, valve manufacturers. Most of the time, the valves we use, it doesn't work. So this is kind of a waste. I wish they wouldn't put this in here. You know, I like that they offer it, but I wouldn't put it in included. Same with the pipe seals, because you could actually take the membrane and make your own pipe seals. I think that's kind of a waste. So um, also with, with the corners, you think, um, so this would be for a standard pan. You have four insides and you have two outsides. So if it was a three wall shower, uh, this would work, um, but oftentimes you have different configurations. You know, maybe you got an angle, maybe you have a two wall shower, maybe you got a bench, other things. And so maybe you don't need all of these or you need different ones. So again, they're including stuff that you might not necessarily need for your particular installation. But it's nice to have the corners. We keep them around and use them. So. Uh, there's the Curdy bonding flange. Um, one of the drawbacks to the Curdy is that, um, like I showed in one of my videos, a really popular video I did, where I actually had to go in and tear out our own tiled shower that we did. It had nothing to do with the um, Curdy membrane that we used. It was actually a problem with the walls. I'll put that link in the description so you can see it. It's a really good tear out video where it was actually a job that we did. We had to tear it out and diagnose it. But so you can see over time, the, this white stuff actually came off. It's all the way down to the ABS in some areas. There's a little bit left on there, but you can really see how it, it's worn off. And it's actually stuck to the bottom of the thin set. You see the white stuff on there? That's actually, that actually came off of the, the drain flange. So, um, but what I had found with the Curdy drain, so it was two years old, and over time, this white fleece that they have on here um, completely disintegrated. So the way this works is you have the bonding flange, thin set mortar goes on here, the Curdy membrane goes on here, well, at the time we were using unmodified thin set, and so the water wicked up underneath. This was completely wet, and this white stuff, whatever it is, again, I don't really know what it is, um, but it, it, it emulsified in the water, and all that was left on the drain was, was that part. And so I'll put that link in the description but it completely came away and what that allowed water to do was to wick out and it got into the mud bed. Luckily, that was on a slab foundation, so there's no damage and it was minimal water, just enough to wick and make the mortar wet. But I can imagine over 15 years or so on a plywood substrate, that probably wouldn't be good. So I, I think Curdy should go back to the drawing board with whatever they're using on here because it emulsifies in water. Okay, so that is Curdy's. Uh, here we have Laticretes. So Laticretes is very similar. Um, and a lot of the stuff that you see out in the market today is basically a knockoff of what Schluter has done. I mean, they're one of the, they were on the forefront of um, this technology. So a lot of the companies are just taking Schluter's stuff and trying to improve on it. So Laticretes comes with a bonding flange. Um, um, we use two inch ABS or two inch PVC um, and that just slips in there. So I don't know what this dealie does, but we don't need it. And it was a pain in the butt to get off, so I don't really like that. But I've used these drains. What I like about Laticretes drains is they're a little, they're more solid. So 
Um, Schluter's is really kind of flimsy. So if you have this installed and you happen to step on it, it just, um, it, it's a lot thinner plastic. So I don't know, the, I, I really like how um, Laticrete's is, is nice and beefy. So, uh, but, and this doesn't have any fleece at all. So, you know, I, I asked my rep about it when we first did it, I was coating it in liquid hydroband first and then putting our sheet membrane over it with Thinset. And, uh, you know, that's the way I thought. But then I talked to him and he said, oh, no, you, you can thin set directly to the bonding flange, which, I mean, I trust him. But that seems a little weird to me to use a thin set mortar to bond directly to plastic and, you know, rely on that as, as the... Uh, the primary waterproofing and it, it's a really vulnerable area right because all your water is coming down every day into this area you know I mean we've been putting them in so I hope it works but you know that whole uh, common sense thing that we think about sometimes thin set right to plastic I don't know so uh, the jury's still a little bit out on that um, so this one has the fleece but again it emulsifies in water, so over time it comes off. So it's probably better to have nothing than something that's going to delaminate. So uh, similar to Curdy, um, oh yeah, I didn't go over. So you have to buy separately. Um, the great kit for the Schluter comes separately, and it's a setup like this. Uh, it's got an adjustment ring, and this is how you adjust for the height of your tile. So you set that however high you need it. It thin sets in there, and uh, you're good to go. You just thin, you know, put some thin set on here, put it down, tile up to it. Um, Schluter's. This is the five inch, five inch drain grate. Um, it's got a screw mechanism. So um, the only thing that might be a drag about that, right, is if you get your height and you put it down, you tile up. You can't just push it down, you'd have to spin it down. And then, you know, then you'd have to pull your tiles off. So Schluter, I really like how their, their drain, great. I really like how it adjusts because if you had this installed and your tile was a little low, you could just push down. Well, this, one, this one's kind of tight. I think it's just got some dirt. But usually you can just push it down and it will adjust in height. You can usually tap it down to get in there. Um, Laticretes, you have to spin it down, which again, I haven't had any problems with it. And both of these, both of these guys adjust um, so that if your tiles to get to, you know, if you're trying to get rid of a small cut, you can adjust it one way or another. So that's the Laticrete and the Schluter. Uh, now I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to show you this one because I'm, I'm super pumped on this. So this is the Flow Effects, and um, Chase sent this out to me uh, last week, and I took a look at it, and my first response was, it was almost like he took everything that there were issues with and corrected them and made a drain. And I said, look, man, I'm making videos. I'm, I'm totally into drains. I geek out on them. I think about what could make them better. And you just seem to address all of the things that were issues with the other ones. And so first off, uh, what, what he did is he has this non-wicking uh, fabric that is actually part of the injection mold process. So this stuff does not come off like the Curdy fleece. And Chase told me, Chase told me that it was, he, he left it underwater for seven months in a bucket and nothing happened to it. So this fleece, whatever it is, it's thicker, it's more durable, and uh, it just, it definitely feels stronger. When you look at the two side by side, um, this is definitely a thicker, uh, fleece fabric uh, and he says that it doesn't wick and it will not emulsify in water so 
that's definitely a good feature there. Uh, the way that these guys work is instead of a screw top or a push down and push up friction fit, um, there's different spacers. There's a couple different sizes. It looks like there's three eighth inch spacers and a sixteenth inch. And so after you have this set, you put your spacers in there and then this is your your drain so here's your uh, this is just a protector plate so while you're working you put that in there you tile up to it uh, your protector plate pops out and then And then, uh, yeah, Chase was really cool. He, he made me this little uh, logo drain. Then your, your grate pops right into that. So based on the height of your tile, you're gonna put more or less spacers in here and you just then set them in. And again, it has plenty of travel for, if for avoiding small cuts. And if your drain's a little bit off center, you need to center it up. Uh, so that's, that's really helpful. Um, so yeah, those are cool. Here's another feature of the flow effect. So these, like I showed, bond directly to ABS plastic or PVC. So all of these uh, are available in either an ABS or a PVC on the west coast here. We use a lot of uh, ABS, so not much PVC. I know on the east coast, I see you guys' pictures, mostly uh, PVC. So here's a piece of two inch PVC, again, it fits into the bottom just like that. Now here's the issue, a lot of times customers, if you're doing a remodel or even working with a general contractor, and say one of these three piece drains is already installed, and it, it installs the same way like this. Now to get from this to one of these, uh, you would have to cut this all off and then, you know, take your cutter, cut the whole drain off. You might have to deal with a coupler and a lot of times this is under the ground in a slab, you can't get to it. So instead what comes with every one of these drains, which I think was a brilliant idea, is that they have this, this um, I guess it would be a transition, an adapt, no, not a transition, but an adapter plate to go from this three piece, so you could just take that part off uh, you drill the holes because these uh, these type drains, some have four holes, some have three. The holes can be in a little bit different places. So um, they don't drill the holes, but basically, um, so you drill the holes, um, then you would put sealant in here just like you would a pan liner. You put sealant in, you put the adapter plate back on, clamp it down real good. And so again, this is in every, this comes standard in every one. And Schluter has an adapter, uh, but you have to order it in the whole kit. It comes with the flange. It's a different flange, actually. So you'd have to pay for the whole box. Uh, this, this comes so that you can do it either or in every box. You don't need to plan for it. So once this is tightened down real good, now you can easily adapt right to a three-stage drain. You would, all you would do is, uh, once you got that adapter on, oh, it fits tight, uh, you would do some ABS glue here, glue it down. You got a little bit of height variance based on how, how high you want your mortar bed. And now you're going directly from a three-piece drain into a bonding flange drain. You didn't have to do any additional plumbing, didn't have to call the plumber out deal with, uh, and it is a lot of work sometimes. Switching these things out um, might seem like no big deal, but it can take a lot of time if you don't have access to it. So that's a real cool feature that it comes standard with every drain. And there's also one more feature that I really think was important and should have been addressed because we do mostly dry pack installations and I guess it would also pertain to doing over a preformed foam pan is that the, on the bottom of the flow effects they have mechanical bonding channels 
so that you can comb your thin set in and it's going to lock in your thin set for whatever you put it down into because we usually do a mud pan then we're putting our flange down into it well look at the bottom of a Schluter Curdy pan it's just smooth plastic again mortar is not going to bond to that very well and I have that happen a lot where you you put the drain in you float around it, you pack everything down real good, you screed it off, and then the next day someone steps on it and it flexes and it breaks the bond. Again, thin set mortar to the bottom of plastic um, isn't the best bond, but when you have mechanical channels like this to lock in the thin set, this will lock down into your mud really good. It will also lock down into a foam pan really well. Same thing with laticrete, they don't have any type of uh, mechanical bonding on the bottom. All of these drains have screw holes, which are really nice. So if you do want to screw the drain flange down to the subfloor, you can. But I want to show you one other thing. So one thing I noticed, uh, Laticrete, and I fought this on every one. I go, oh, it's cool. They, they got screw holes so I can screw it down and lock it into place. Well, you do that, and look how Look how high the screw sits up. And that might not seem like a mu much, just the head of that screw, a sixteenth of an inch or so, but you do not want to just go over that with sheet membrane because that's, that's creating a point where the sheet membrane can tear, especially if someone steps on it while they're working. Uh, so basically what I've had to do on all of my laticrete drains is go in with a drill bit and try to countersink all of the screw holes, which I'm just going, man, it would have been so nice if they would have, you know, made it fit. With the flow effects, watch, if I use a screw, it was countersunk properly so that there's no lip there. There's no ridge at all for the sheet membrane to get damaged. Uh, so that's really cool. I mean, it, it just seems like this, and, and it was. I mean, so the owner of Flow FlowFX, uh, Chase, um, it's made in the USA. Uh, he's actually a tile guy, and he developed these drains basically working through this stuff and going, you know, actually out in the field because a lot of this stuff, Schluter, Laticrete, you know, it's, you know, maybe they're developing them in a lab, in a closed setting, in a demo setting and they don't see these real job site conditions that tile guys run into where Chase has really come up with something awesome because he has that experience in the field. He's a tile guy first and he's developing drains to help tile guys. So uh, made in the USA, really cool. Uh, here's, here's Schluter's, kind of the same thing. Um, they do have screw holes, but you see the whole head of the screw is sticking up and if you had your you had your sheet membrane covering that, you know, that's, that's really a vulnerable point and you don't want that. You do not want uh, a rigid screw head sticking up like that. So if you do use screws in these flanges, I would definitely caution you to countersink them, which does take time. So, so that's pretty much it. I mean, I covered um, the pros and cons, but if you can tell by the video, uh, probably what direction we're going to be going. Uh, it's this one. Um, I've used them all, uh, but really, really stoked to have this one. Uh, cost. Let's talk about cost. So, Schluter, I think retail price is probably 125 or so for uh, both the flange and the grate. Um, most tile guys, if you're buying in volume. You know, if you're a regular customer, they're going to give you a break. Same with Laticrete, there's going to be contractor pricing. But if you're buying retail, yeah, you're like 120 bucks uh, for for the Schluter. Laticrete, I don't even know. I'm sorry. You know, I, I buy in bulk, so I don't even know. I'm sure they're probably trying to beat Schluter's price a little bit. Uh, flow effects uh, for the bonding flange and the grate. So you got your bonding flange, and then you get the grate separately. Again, Chase, Chase made me a demo, which was really cool with the tile coach. I mean, I love that. I'll probably use that maybe in the showroom or something or just as a display. Um, but he also has our uh, tile company logo. He got that for me. Uh, but some really nice drain options. 
Uh, here's a matte black that I really, I think that's just jamming. Again, I'll be doing a showroom display with that one. Uh, but yeah, some nice drains, uh, lots of drain options. So you're gonna buy the bonding, the bonding flange setup plus a drain, you're about $70. So you're gonna be less money than the Schluter or the Laticrete. And um, you know, I think you're getting a better product. Again, this is a real sturdy, it's not such a wide bonding flange. I, I feel like when this is installed, you're less apt to step on it and break on it, break it when you're working. And um, oh, oh, last, lastly, I know it's a long video. Thank you guys for, for sticking with me here. Um, I know I'm really excited about these drains and stuff. You guys might be getting a little bored, but please hang tight. I got one more thing to show you. Okay, so say that you have one of these Schluter, Schluter setups already. It's already installed, you're committed, you got the Curdy system, but you still want to use uh, one of these grates. You can get um, an another adapter plate. This is actually their uh, FFX grate install kit. And it's going to allow you to adapt to the Curdy system. So what this allows you to do is to use, you know, your nice flow effects drains. Um, grab this one again with it. So this guy installs the same way. It's got the same setup as the Curdy. You know, you squish it down to the height that you want it. It adjusts in here. Um, actually, their collar is a little bit thicker, which is nice because if you got small tiles, you're not going to have it dip down uh, like Schluter's. Schluter's is so s small, you get this dip and you got to build up your tiles around here. This one's thicker so that when you tile, it's not going to sag down into that valley. Uh, we got this little guy will pop out with a knife or a margin trowel. That's just a cover. So you could. While you're installing and you're tiling and you're grouting, you keep this in here. The last thing you're going to do is pop it, and then you're going to pop in your, your nice, new, nice new grate. So that's the way that goes. Another feature of this that I saw was it has weep channels. So on the bottom, it's going to allow uh, water to weep. Again, this is where all the moisture is collecting. So it's going to allow water to weep down, get out of the system where Schluter's does not have those weep channels. So all in all, a uh, better price. I think it's functioning better and you're supporting a small business made in the USA product. So I'm super stoked. Thank you, Chase, for letting us uh, try out your drains. I can't wait to start using them in all my installs. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for sticking with the long video. I love you. I love being your tile coach. And we'll see you on the next video.